Ever found yourself daydreaming about Hungary? No? Well, you're about to. If you're enjoying this journey so far, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting travels. And tell me in the comments which part of Hungary you're most excited to explore. Now I know what you're thinking, Hungary, isn't that just a small, landlocked country snugly tucked in the heart of Central Europe? Well yes, but it's also so much more. Hungary is a country steeped in history, a vibrant blend of old and new. Picture grand castles and fortresses standing tall against the backdrop of time, telling tales of empires that once were. It's a place where the air filled with the aroma of mouth-watering goulash and the sweet notes of Tokaji wine. It's where the language dances on the tongue like a well-rehearsed ballet, complex but captivating. Hungary is a land of contrasts, where the old world charm meets modern-day vibrancy. It's a place that's often overlooked, but once discovered, it's hard to forget. So buckle up, or should I say fasten your seatbelts on your imaginary Hungarian horse carriage, and prepare for a wild ride. First stop Budapest, so good they named it twice, Buda and Pest. Ready to dive into the heart of Central Europe? Let's start with Budapest, the Pearl of the Danube. Now this isn't your average city, oh no, it's a city of two halves, each with its own distinct personality. Buda, the hilly side, is home to the Grand Royal Palace and the Fisherman's Bastion, a fortress that's more fairy tale castle than military stronghold. Pest, on the other hand, is flat as a pancake and buzzing with energy. Here you'll find the Parliament Building, a gothic masterpiece that'll have you reaching for your camera faster than you can say, wow. And let's not forget the iconic chain bridge, connecting Buddha and Pest like a beautiful stone handshake. It's a city that's bursting with history, beauty, and a few surprises. And just remember, it's Budapest, not Budapest. Don't mix it up or you'll have some unhappy Hungarians. Hungry and hungry? Well, you're in luck. Hungary's culinary landscape is as diverse and exciting as the country itself. It's not just about goulash, folks. Dive into a bowl of hearty goulash, sure, but don't miss out on the other gastronomic delights this Central European gem has to offer. Take Langos, for instance. This deep-fried flatbread, often slathered in sour cream and cheese, is the stuff of street food dreams. And let's not forget the chimney cake. This sweet spiral of dough roasted over an open flame and dusted with sugar is a treat you won't want to miss. Hungary's cuisine is a mouth-watering blend of comfort food and innovation. It's a culinary journey that takes you from the robust flavors of paprika-spiced dishes to the delicate sweetness of flaky pastries. So, if you've got a hankering for hearty meals that'll stick to your ribs, Hungary's got you covered. Who needs the ocean when you've got Lake Balaton? Let's dive into Hungary's very own sea, a gem nestled in the heart of the country. This shimmering expanse of water, Lake Balaton, is the largest freshwater lake in Central Europe. But don't be fooled by its size, folks. It's known fondly as the Hungarian Sea, not just for its vastness, but for the life and vibrancy it brings to Hungary's summers. Imagine the sun dipping low, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink while you float on its tranquil surface. Or perhaps you'd prefer a bit of thrill. How about a spot of sailing, windsurfing, or a leisurely boat tour? And let's not forget the vineyards nearby just waiting for you to indulge in a tipple or two of the finest Hungarian wines. So who's up for a dip in the Hungarian Sea? Just don't expect to taste any salt. Ever wanted to feel like a cowboy in Central Europe? Say hello to the Pusta, now I know what you're thinking. Cowboys? In Hungary? But trust me folks, the Pusta is as close as you'll get to the Wild West this side of the Atlantic. It's a vast, endless flatland that stretches as far as the eye can see. But what makes the Pusta truly special are the Chicos, traditional Hungarian horsemen who've been mastering their craft for centuries. Picture this, a man standing tall on the backs of two galloping horses, controlling a herd with just his voice and a long whip. Kinda like John Wayne, but with a bit more flair and a lot less tumbleweed. And don't worry, you don't have to be a horse whisperer to enjoy the pusta. There's plenty of equestrian shows that'll give you a glimpse into this unique part of Hungarian culture. So if you're looking for a wild ride, forget the mechanical bull, try a Hungarian horse. Wine lovers rejoice, Hungary's got something special in store for you. There's a certain magic in how the Hungarians transform simple grapes into a symphony of flavors. Let's start with the sweet nectar of the gods, the Tokaji. It's like honey kissed by sunshine with a twist of apricot and peach. Now if you're more into the robust reds, then Egri Bikaver will steal your heart. This bull's blood, as it's affectionately known, is a hearty blend of grapes that packs a punch, both in taste and in legend. And let's not forget about the roses. Hungary's got a pink for every palate, from the light and crisp to the rich and fruity. 
Picture this, a warm summer evening, a cool glass of rosé in hand, and the Danube flowing gently by. So, whether you're a wine connoisseur or just someone who enjoys a good drink, Hungary's got a glass with your name on it. Ready to shake a leg? Hungarian folklore is ready to sweep you off your feet. Now let's talk about the enchanting Hungarian folklore, a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of traditional music and dance. It's a whirlwind of swirling skirts, stomping boots, and pulsating rhythms that can make your heart skip a beat. And learning these dances, well, that's a whole other adventure. Imagine trying to keep up with the tempo, your feet tripping over themselves in an attempt to match the beat. You might start off emulating a baby giraffe learning to walk, but don't let that deter you. The beauty of Hungarian dance lies not in perfection, but in the sheer joy of movement. It's about the laughter that erupts when you misstep, the camaraderie formed as you twirl in unison and the sense of accomplishment when you finally nail that tricky sequence. So, if you've got two left feet, don't worry. Hungarian dance is all about having fun. Need to relax? Hungary's thermal baths are just what the doctor ordered. You see, in Hungary, taking a dip isn't just about getting clean, it's about soaking up the good life. Imagine slipping into a pool of warm, mineral-rich water, your worries melting away as the steam rises around you. Now these aren't your average swimming holes. Picture grand, century-old bathhouses, decked out in all the trimmings of bygone opulence. Majestic mosaics, towering columns, and domed ceilings that make you feel like you've stepped into a royal spa. And these baths aren't just for show, they're chock full of health benefits. Got achy joints? The thermal waters can soothe them. Need a skin glow up? The minerals got your back. Feeling stressed? The tranquil environment will have you feeling zen in no time. So if you're feeling a little tense, just remember, when in Hungary, do as the Hungarians do and take a soak. Think English is hard? Wait till you try Hungarian. Ah, the Hungarian language, a linguistic labyrinth of peculiar pronunciations and tongue-twisting terms. If you've ever tried to master this melodic maze, you know it's like learning to sing an opera while juggling flaming torches. Hungarian stands out in the European language family, with a structure so unique it's like a Rubik's Cube for your vocal cords. And let's not even start on the accents. They dance around the letters like mischievous pixies, turning a simple word into a symphony of sounds. Now, imagine ordering a goulash in a bustling Budapest bistro. You might find yourself performing a verbal gymnastics routine just to ask for a bowl of soup. But don't worry, the locals appreciate your effort and might even reward you with a smile or a hearty laugh. So, if you're up for a challenge, try saying Zaz tu zikat zuz chokya ten times fast. So, what makes Hungary so charming? Let's recap. Hang on to your hats, folks, because we've got a roller coaster of a recap coming your way. We dove into the heart of Central Europe and discovered a treasure trove of experiences. From the majestic Danube, a river so grand it's like a pearl necklace draped across the country, to the hearty goulash that'll make your taste buds dance the shardas. We dipped our toes in the Hungarian Sea, also known as Lake Balaton, and ventured into the wild expanses of the Pusta. We tickled our palates with Hungary's sweet and sour delicacies, danced like nobody was watching, and soaked away our troubles in thermal baths. We even tried to wrestle with the tongue-twisting Hungarian language and, boy was that a hoot. It's been an unforgettable journey filled with charm, culture, and a fair share of laughter. So if you're looking for charm, culture, and a whole lot of fun, Hungary's got it all, and then some.